Hello, our viewers. A blessed week to you all. This is a very new show that is coming down on your screen, and I'll be your new host, Jocelyn Kabajeni, with Japi on the camera. Now, on this very new show, it will be a gospel show, and I'll be having for you what's taking place in the gospel show. There will be a gospel industry. <laughs> I'll be having for you the topic of the day, the guest of the day, and also what's taking place in the gospel industry, which will be called the gospel industry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share. Welcome back to The Grace, and I've been telling you about it. I'm going to tell you about the topic of the day, and it will be called a powerful dream. A powerful dream, I have a new host for you. I got a chance to visit the host of today who will be taking us through the topic of the day. Remember, the topic of the day will be a powerful dream. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you very much. Now, you can start by telling the viewers who is you and tell us more about you. My name is Pastor Mohozi Jean-Claude and I'm from ERC, ERC Masoro uh, uh, Restoration Church to me. And I'm a husband to a wife and four children. That's really Is a that blessing. All? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Now the host of today will be telling us more about the topic of the day. I think, Pastor, you know what the topic of today is. You'll be sharing with us what you think about a powerful dream. Yes. Uh, a powerful dream is uh, actually a title I got from the book of Genesis. It's a story about a young man, a young man wh whose name is Joseph. Joseph actually had that powerful dream in the Bible. And we see that Joseph is a strong character in the Bible. He, God gave him a dream when he was 17 years old, as I told you. And uh, he uh, went through a lot because of that dream. And the Bible says, let's read, on, let's read in the Bible, the book of Genesis chapter 37, uh, verse 5, it says, Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more. So this is actually uh, a dream that Joseph had that he, um, when he was becoming a leader. But when he told the dream to his brothers, the brothers hated him. But despite hating him, uh, Joseph's dream uh, came true. Uh, but before it came true, he went through a lot of things. Uh, his, his brothers sold him to Egypt. He, they sold him to the Midianites, and the Midianites to, to, took Joseph to Egypt. And Joseph was sold to uh, Potiphar's house. He was bought by Potiphar. At Potiphar's house, Joseph prospered. He was, uh, he was given charge of everything that po post, uh, post, uh, Potiphar, sorry, Potiphar possessed, excluding his wife, except his wife. Uh, but at the end of the day, because Joseph was a, a nice looking, uh, a handsome man, then uh, his wife, Potiphar's wife, lasted after Joseph. And uh, when he asked Joseph to, uh, to, 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 to sleep with him, Joseph did not give in, and then he refused. Then in the end, finally, then Joseph ended up in prison. When he ended up in prison, and also in prison, the Bible says the hand of God was upon Joseph. He, he continued to, to be righteous. He continued to do what was right before God. He, he continued to be faithful. So even in prison, then the jailer gave him the, the, the position to become, uh, actually he, he was the overseer in the prison. So he became in charge also in the prison. But in the prison, he met also two people from Pharaoh. The two people were actually the, the chief butler uh, from Pharaoh and also the baker. And then they were jailed by uh, Pharaoh because of the, the, the mistake that they did. So they had two dreams. They had uh, dreams respectively. Then Joseph interpreted, interpreted his dream, their dreams, sorry. And then when he interpreted their dreams, one was actually killed and another, who is the chief butler, uh, then went back to his position. And he told him, please don't forget me. Unfortunately, the chief butler forgot Joseph. But even if the chief butler forgot him, because of the powerful dream, the dream that came from God, 
Why do I say that the dream was powerful? Every dream coming from God is a powerful dream. Everything from God is powerful. The man continued to be righteous. The young man continued to be faithful, as I told you. So finally, Pharaoh also had a dream. That dream, then Pharaoh could not get anybody to interpret the dream for him. Finally, the chief butler remembered Joseph after two years, two complete years. And then he remembered Joseph, that there was a young Hebrew man who interpreted, who interpreted his dreams when he was in the prison. And then he called Joseph. They, Pharaoh sent for Joseph. And when Joseph came, he interpreted, all, he interpreted the dream for uh, Pharaoh. And Pharaoh also, uh, uh, after, after actually getting the interpretation, he said, wow, this is a powerful man. Where can we get a young man full of the Spirit of God like this one? He said, Joseph, from now on, you become a prime minister. You become a second in charge in Egypt. Only me will be before you, but you will be in charge of all this Egypt. And Egypt was a superpower at that time. So the young man, Joseph, finally his dream came true, even if his brothers opposed him. But because I said it's a powerful dream, you cannot quench a powerful dream. Hallelujah. So the, the dream finally came true. And his brothers who opposed him, his brothers who hated him, finally they found him in Egypt when there was a famine in Israel. And Joseph became a leader as the dream said so. Days people, it's hard to believe in what you really want. They don't want to work for it. They don't want to do things for it. They just want to pass easy ways. What can you really tell the youth on how to go with the powerful dream? Because somebody chooses an easy way and forgets what really God wants for them. Yes, actually, uh, one of the things that I will say, if you look for an easy way to get into your destiny or to get into what you want, uh, first of all, I want to tell you that the, the, the things of God, uh, you, you have to be patient with the things of God. And uh, every time, uh, I, I want to, to tell you that uh, the, 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 the way of God is not easy, but it's sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, anybody who wants the easiest way all, will always be in trouble. It was not easy with Joseph, but it was sure. So I want to tell you, the easy, the, 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 you'd better go for the, the, the sure way instead of easiest way, because you can go for the easiest way and get into trouble at the end. So uh, the sure way is in Christ. When you just meet Christ in your life, when you receive Christ in your life, life might not be easy with you, you know, at the beginning. But finally, you will rejoice. Finally, you will be celebrated. Finally, you will get your, into your destiny. Yes, it was not easy with Joseph. You, you know, Joseph was hated with his brothers. He was, uh, when he went to Potiphar's house, uh, it was not easy. Potiphar, he was put into prison for something he did not do. You know, he was unjustly accused. It was not easy. So with him, he was even in prison. He languished in prison for two, com uh, for two years after he had interpreted the dream. And then the chief butler had promised him to help him. So it was not easy he, for, for him. It took 13 years for him to become a prime minister of Egypt. You see, the dream took 13 complete years to be fulfilled. Yes, but finally he became actually a um, prime minister in a, super power, uh, in a superpower country because Egypt at that time was like a, uh, the United States of today. So I can tell you if you are a youth, maybe you have a dream, but I want to tell you, the. A sure dream is first of all to receive Jesus Christ in your life, because out, outside of Jesus Christ there is no real, no good life. But I want to tell you, if you receive Christ, God will give you a direction of your destiny, and the end will be finally very good, like Joseph. So that is good. Thank you so much, Pastor. I think you also have a special message to tell the viewers. You really have something else to tell the people? Yeah, um, 
just I would summarize this message into uh, three things. Uh, first of all, you might have a dream today. Uh, you might have a powerful dream also coming from God. God might have dropped, deposited that dream into your heart. I want to tell you, first of all, you've got to be patient. Number two, you've got to be righteous. Joseph continued to, to do righteousness. He continued to do the right thing before God. Joseph continued to be faithful. Number one, when you have a powerful dream, a dream coming from God, you will not escape the, the, the devil. You will not escape difficulties because the devil always fight a dream from God because he doesn't want the dream to be fulfilled. So if you meet the devil, please, you might be in a situation where you want to understand everything. Don't demand to understand. Only follow the way of God. Number two, keep faithful before God. Joseph kept his faithfulness. Even when he did not understand what happened, he continued to do the right thing before God. Number three, don't hold grudges. Of course, when you meet difficulties, there are some people who can forget you. Like the chief butler, he forgot Joseph, but he did not hold grudges. His brothers accused him. They hated him, but Joseph did not also hate them. He even received them in Egypt when they had famine. So don't, uh, number one, don't demand to understand when you, you go into uh, God-given difficulties. Number two, keep to be faithful. Number three, uh, keep, don't keep grudges. Don't hate people f because they have forgotten you. Because one day, uh, God, we uh, you will be celebrated even if you are forgotten. Those are the three things I want to tell people. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor, for the great day that you've given to us. And please, people who are watching this, Never forget what the pastor said. He said three major things, but pastor, I really think the main thing is to be righteous. Yeah, the, the main thing, of course, is to uh, is righteousness. You know, it is, it is said the holiness is power. So if you keep doing the right thing before God, if you keep the, 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 to be clean before God, if you keep the holiness before God. Now, Pastor, in relation to this message that you've delivered, do you really think, uh, how do you see the youth in Christian, I mean, in youth that are in Christianity today? How do you see them and uh, what message do you have for the youth in general? Yeah, uh, sometimes the youth wants to take a shortcut. The youth, first of all, which is in Christ, which are in Christ, I would advise them to follow the path of God. So if you have a, a dream, I want to tell you that Joseph was a youth like you. He was, a, you know, 17 years. He was even a teen. He was a teenager. But Joseph was stuck on his God. He actually held onto his God. He could not do anything outside of the will of God. So he held onto his God, and then finally he saw his dream come true. If you are a youth today, and you are in Christianity, you have received the Christ in your life. I would like to tell you that just hold on to the will of God. If you have a dream, please don't, want, don't do anything outside of the will of Christ. Continue to pray, continue to be patient, continue to, to be faithful, continue, continue to do righteousness, to, to be righteous, continue to, to be holy, continue to, I mean, to water your dream with faith, finally, you will reach you will reach your destiny your destination thank you and for another youth another part of the youth which is not in christ i want to tell you today uh, the the life outside of christ is not actually is not a life at all because in christ we have everything everything that we lost in adam we regained everything in christ so i would encourage the youth to be like Joseph, to follow God, to, to follow the path of God, to receive Christ in their life. And then uh, the, 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 our destiny is secure and sure in Christ. Thank you so much, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. Thank you.
As you've been told, I really hope you got a great message through what the pastor was telling us. I hope he really delivered something to you, and I think you really, I hope that you got something out of there. Now, concerning to the youth and all people in general, let your dreams not be shattered. As the pastor was telling us, focus on your main dreams. Be faithful and be holy to what you're doing. Just believe that God can do something for you. That was the end of the topic of today. See what's trending. I'll be telling you why you can go in this month. And everything that is happening to you, I'll be bringing it straight to you guys. Now, there is this show of Serge Yamuremye, one of our own. He's a singer and he praises God through the talent that God gave him. He's having a concert on the 26th, this August, in Serena Hotel. He will be having... A a lot of uh, he will be having a lot of people who are coming to to share with him and also including the singers he will be having a polinel and, and he will also be having uh pasia bizimana and a lot of people who will be coming to share with you the good news please don't miss out let's meet there on the 20 on the 26th august